for me, uh, being curious would be more looking into the details. So just go beyond and just the design. You observe a product, you get curious about how it's made, like you're looking for the things that you learned in the workshops, in the lesson. Tom heeft het ook wel eens gedaan, neem eens iets mee wat je absoluut lelijk of slecht vindt. En dan komt er een heleboel onverwachte informatie op tafel waar je uiteindelijk weer verder mee kunt. En met name het delen van dat soort informatie kan heel nuttig zijn. We provide them with a knowledge as lecturers. We provide them with skills. And we do this through different means. These means can be from activities outside the university, from bringing in clients for their projects, and from transferring our professional and experience to them. I think it's about not being satisfied with with the first thing you do, the first thing you think of, with the ideas you have, not really pushing yourself to to get what you're doing on a higher level. Here in this uh, giant room, and everybody's working on their own project, but you constantly talk with each other. Someone starts with an idea, and everybody has their own look on things. So some of them are silly, but uh, the most silly things uh, can turn out to be a great idea if you think further about it. We're able to experiment quite a lot within the industrial design engineering program. Uh, the opdrachten die we krijgen zijn er heel erg breed. Dus uh, je mag eigenlijk zelf bijna bepalen wat je gaat doen. Waardoor dat je eigenlijk je creatieve alles gewoon te loop kan laten gaan en je kan gewoon eigenlijk doen wat je wilt, want het is heel breed. Dus, yeah. In the studies uh, at IDE we learned quite a lot how to start and how to go through the entire design circle and how to start a project. This really, really helped me in my final project during my graduation that I didn't really need much help in order to set up the project. Uh, leren met fases te werken, dus uh, als een ontwerper moet je in fases werken. En uh, hier wil je dat heel goed plannen, je hebt deadlines waar je aan moet houden en als je die niet haalt dan uh, kan je gewoon het niet opnieuw doen, want het is een deadline. Students can understand that their design process and their design project are in connection with many different things that happen around it. But they are learning throughout their practices how they can integrate those into their process. I think we try to challenge our students to be socially engaged by having really nice clients for them to work with, like the Doctors Without Borders. And also last year they worked with a lot of uh, fugitive uh, initiatives yeah. uh, uh, in Den Haag and also Amsterdam level, right now at uh, national as well as international level. We are given evaluations, we are given the opportunity to give constructive feedback to our tutors, to other students, and that is already a great learning step for me. I hear a few times that students just want to study as IPO, because it's a combination between creativity and technique. Uh, creative solutions to look for, not creativity expression of yourself, but yeah. creativity to om tot nieuwe oplossingen te komen, innovatie. En heel belangrijk is dat het niet alleen maar gaat over iets maken in technische zin, maar ook voor de gebruiker. Als je het zou moeten samenvatten en je zou een IPO over willen beschrijven, dan noem je het eigenlijk over een, heb je het over een, een creatieve technicus, een, een, een creatieve ingenieur. Dus eigenlijk, en in het Engels noemen we dat een heel mooi creative engineer. The idea is that through their practice within the project, they integrate this knowledge within that practice. It's our job as lecturers during tutoring time, making sure that they are coming aware of how they can do that and how that enriches their whole design process and the project itself. <laughs>